Hello there and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 video game. So we had almost a million dollars in the bank after last week. We don't anymore. We'll show you where it went. Uh, we spent $775,000 for an aero upgrade. So look at this, 85, 85, and 80. So now we'll just be even a little bit faster down the straightaways. And I actually might be able to get a up. Uh, pff, nope. I thought... So, look at the point standings. That's right, we joined the four-win club with our Bristol Night Race dub. This is me and Denny Hamlin up top, followed by Keselowski Bush with three wins, Harvick with two, and then the one-win club, Logano, Bowman, Eric Jones, Chase Elliott, Blaney, Newman, Landon Castle, and then everybody else fighting uh, in on points. So, Eric Almirola was 37 back after last week. Now he's a full race out. Uh, just race, not including stage points, but... uh. Yeah, he's gonna. I mean, he's got two races, so he's he's gonna have to step on it. And Clint Boyer is gonna have to do something stupid. We'll give you the BJ McLeod update. Uh, it's not good, but we'll give it to you anyways. He's 38th in points. Now a word from our sponsor, Manscaped.com, the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. They wanted me to talk today about the Perfect Package 3.0 kit. Now I know a lot of you have already hopped on it, but for those who haven't, I'm here to save you balls. It's really the highlight of this package. It comes with the brand new Lawnmower Body Trimmer 3.0. It's got a long lasting battery life, a new LED for precise trimming, completely waterproof so you can take that sucker in the shower and take care of your business. It's a handy little tool, let me tell you. On top of that, it comes with the Crop Reserver Ball Deodorant, the Crop Reviver Ball Toning Spray, and if you subscribe today, you get not one but two free gifts with the Shed Travel Bag and a fresh pair of undies. Now you get all that, and you get to use my code WIN20 at checkout for 20% off that entire order and free shipping. Sounds like a deal to me. I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. Manscaped.com, code WIN20. Your balls will thank you. All right, so I know you guys probably clicked on the video with the different car in the thumbnail, and then you saw it in the background. You're asking yourself, what the hell? Well, since it is Darlington, the Darlington throwback weekend, here's my throwback. Since the paint booth sucks in this game and you're literally stuck to one paint scheme, uh, we had to work with what we had. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my Tony Raines throwback, 2005 uh, DNQ from Indianapolis. Fun fact, this car was from Front Row Motorsports. It wasn't called it back then, but that's what the team is now. Today I learned. Also, it's funny because you can look. It looks like uh, we actually took the decals off the car. You can still see the. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Best car we've ever had for the Southern 500. 92 laps. Let's get it. NASCAR's in Darlington for the running of the Bojangles Southern 500. This unique egg-shaped oval known as the track too tough to tame has become home to the throwback weekend. Join us as we celebrate seven decades of NASCAR. Seven decades of NASCAR, including <laughs> Tony Reigns' 2005 DNQ from Indianapolis with Front Row Motorsports. Okay. Austin Dillon pays to be nice. Cody Ware, unapproved body modifications. And BJ, the cherry on top, crashed during qualifying. What an absolute shite season. The Daytona 500 curse. All right. Well, we're here with some uh, other top-notch uh, Darlington throwbacks. Uh, we got almost a full field of them, too. I didn't... Um, I didn't really think about it, but I guess they got all those in, so that's that's cool. Except for Tyler Reddick's bum ass. I guess he probably wouldn't even in the race, huh? All right, well, this is going to be a long, long race. Um, obviously, the best car we've ever had. And a special number for the night in honor of Tony Reigns. Uh, yeah, we're going to do our best. Um, I started off the car, obviously, again, uh, pretty tight because uh, the tires are going to wear a lot throughout this race. And uh, I'm just going to try not to eat shit. And, uh, yeah. Okay, there's one. There's two. Damn it. There's also this, um, I uh, actually rage quit uh, one time and one time only in the time we came here in the Cora League for NASCAR 84 video game. And there's this, there, there's this just this bug in, in turn two. There's something that, like, the track it like grabs you and r makes you wreck it was probably one that there's like a couple of tracks where that exists and it's f probably the dumbest thing i've ever experienced and it hit me like four times in that race i was just why am i doing this so i quit 
It'll probably, I'll probably hit it one way or another tonight. It's just so weird. Like, turn two is a, a hard enough corner as it is, but you throw in a little thing that, like, gra if, like, if you hit it the wrong way, if you drive across it the wrong way, it just grabs your car, and it's nothing really you can do. Sometimes you can save it, other times it makes each shit stupid. So our goal's are the top 15. We only need one more of those since we got one at Bristol. Um, I'm thinking we could probably pull one out of our ass today. It really depends, so it just depends where that last caution falls. But so far, not too bad. Again, I have no idea what the hell this setup's going to do. It's awful in the short run, but all I got to do is loosen it up, and I think we're good. But yeah, it's uh, already starting to feel pretty good. Let's look at these tires. Uh, burning the right... Oops, excuse me. Burning the right rear a little bit more. I almost wrecked him in the middle of straightaway, and he started pulling me again. What the hell is that? Pick a line, David. We're going to go high. We're going to go low. We're going to go low. We're going to go high. I should, spe I should especially be getting special treatment since I'm doing a, a front row motorsports uh, <laughs> tribute. <laughs> oh, Paul. It's all right. Oh, Jesus. In what situation? I... Yellow's out. Ah, I'm not even going to... Doesn't matter. All right, four freshies. All right, that is the only thing that I will say. For NASCAR Heat 5, please let us use the rest of the track at Darlington. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Go, uh, if you guys haven't, I hope you did. You watched uh, the Sunday and Wednesday races, and then hopefully you caught that Xfinity race. Still way better than what, uh, well, I won't say way better, but, um, man, I tell you what, man, it's so much more fun watching the Xfinity cars run than the cups. It's just, it's so much more fun. And I'll maybe, I'll tell you about that maybe later, but what I'm trying to say here is, Holy shit, watch those cars and how much of, uh, like, wide of the track they use. You can't really go below the double. I mean, you oh, well, we can kind of do that. I don't know why, but it made my car just completely turn left when I hit it coming out, coming out of here. But you can run it real low, especially in one and two, man. People, I was surprised, dude. The aero, you could tell how bad the aero package now is in the Cup Series by how wide they have made one and two. They either up of the wall or there, like, like... I was surprised at how low they were exiting down here. It was crazy. Like, cars trying to exit lower than other cars. And cars trying to exit super low so they could screw the guy behind them and make him push to the wall. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, that Xfinity series. I hope y'all caught that race. Holy shit, was that good. And it was very refreshing, man. I'll, uh, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for high horsepower, small blade. Ooh, baby. Those things, they, they were hustling. And you could tell. That was fun. The Cup Series, oh jeez, Ty, we're okay. Speaking of the Cup Series, Ty Dillon, uh, hey, he led some laps there. And then he didn't, but uh, it's better than what Priest did. Here we come. I almost forgot I was on fresh tires, but yeah, we're on fresh tires. Look at this, straightaway speed all of a sudden. Oh yeah, we got 11 laps, we got plenty of time, especially this is starting to kind of space out a bit. Oh, this thing's so bad in one or two. I'm gonna run over so many people this race. Because, like, this track is just narrow enough that the AI like to kind of run in the middle. So, like, the track is just narrow enough. When you try to go high or low on them, you're either running off the track. So, you kind of, kind of, you run into them half the damn time. Oh, yeah. Your mother. Ah, who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Everybody's pitting. Should I stay out? I'm going to stay out and make an ass out of myself. That's, uh, it's, it's still stage number one. So, let's, uh. Yeah, might as well try it, right? My tires didn't seem to be too terribly worn, so... Uh, hey, Brennan gone around Truex stayed out with me. All right! Let's get it, boys! This is gonna get so, oh, man. This might not go well. What the hell is that?! Why do you do this game? Why do you do this? There's that bug where they just, like, restart full speed. <laughs> what the fuck?! I would have had a, I uh, would have had a lot better chance if that didn't happen. Like why, why? I started up coming by, burning gone, but like why, why, why is that a thing? Okay, well, yeah, it's, screw me, right? Okay, oh, don't wreck me, Kyle, don't wreck me. No, oh, oh, all right. This thing is so unresponsive. One and two, it is just. Disgusting. Where is he going, Denny? Where is he going, baby? I shouldn't have tried this. This is uh, like the, the, the anxiety. I just up your ass. Uh, can't get away. Can't get, get away fast enough. Oh my god, this thing is so bad in one and two. I'm used to like just like 
Like in the cup cars at Iris, you can just hold it wide open through one or two. Because, you know, downforce. All right, well, four laps to go. I mean, we had a little bit more time than I thought. Oh, please don't hit me. Thank you. Oh, shit. I hit it a little bit. It didn't like it. Oh. I love Darlington, but man, this track, I'm just, I'm being 100% honest with you. This track is disgusting in NASCAR Heat 4 video game. It just is. I'm sorry. It is. All right, here we come. Mm. How we doing? All right, we actually made a, we made a pass back. Yeah. Bill's coming with me. Hold on, here we come. We got a good run through one and two. Oh, nice, nice wall there. How we doing? Hey, hey. Yeah, okay. Oopsies. That, that wouldn't have happened if we would have went to the wall a little better there. There you go. White flag. Of stage number one, right? I wish it was a white flag in a damn race. Save us a lot of time here. Uh, <laughs> That's never fun passing somebody out of two, no matter what game it is. All right. And that's, uh... That was a bit surprising there. I uh, held on for older on older tires. I actually came back and made a couple of passes. That's fun. Fun. All right. P16. Everybody's pitting again. So, uh, yeah, I mean... Eh. I think it worked out. All right. Well, we lost six spots. It puts us back to P22 next to Jimmy. The two allied throwbacks. How we doing? All right, now I believe it's gonna be pretty close on fuel here. I think we got 25 to go in the stage is what it said um, Nope 22. Okay, never mind. Well, we're one lap to the good then So that might be interesting for the AI. I'm not sure if they could get that like yeah, we'll see Sunny beaches. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that it was ponged right in the what remember when they said they li okay It's not as bad, but it's still there you can't what the hell? Come and get you some, BJ. <laughs> Shout out to BJ, man. Crashed and qualifying, but made his way up to the top 25 already. Ah, oh, man. So much promise, man. So much. Oh, here we come. Oh, God. All right, Reddick. Can I, uh, can I, can I have the, can I, uh, can I go in here and, uh, yeah. Ah, there it is. Oh, Neil. Oh, Neil. No, I like it. I don't even think I was going to make that corner, but gas up just enough to hop it up in front of Jimmy. He slows down for me. What a guy. They got Matt Tift up here, which I'm not really familiar with this throwback whatsoever, but I like it. I don't know why. Can we get a look at this? It's, uh, it's got a, oh, we might, we might get a great look at it here to say, oh, shit. There it is. I like the number. I don't know. I like the colors. Pretty cool. I like what's going on there. And there's Chris Busher. Just that's not a throwback. Get him out of here. Get that. Hold that boot. Hold. That, oh, 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 oh. Hold that boot. That's another thing. I just like right there. Michael McDowell are really flat. So like realistically, he should have slid up the track. It's kind of weird because like this track is you can't just plow through even though it's NASCAR heat. Well, I mean you could, but like. You can't, you know what I mean? So like, I'm trying to set these guys up, but they just like, they still don't do those realistic uh, race car things. See, so yeah, like that right there, uh, both those cars should be up against the wall. They enter the, the corner so flat like that, and then you'd just be able to swoop underneath them, but. Yeah, believe it or not, the game's not really totally realistic, but. <laughs> what do you, what do you know? <laughs> so it's hard, what do you, what do you do with cars that just don't do natural things? Darlington? Oh, uh, we, we, we get a caution, that's, yep, yeah, okay. Well, Joey Logano in the awkward Kevin Harvick throwback, which was a cool throwback, but kind of awkward for him. Uh, yeah, we, we got some cars pitting, but it looks like we got some cars staying out, too, so I don't... I, I mean, I'm pitting. I'm pitting. Give me some freshies, please. There we go. All right, 13 spots lost. Not the worst, though. Look at that, Ryan Blaney. 16th spot. Good job, uh, Penske crew. All right, four more tires, fuel. I did put some more tape on there at some point, I think, so that'll help out a little bit. Uh, we uh, we definitely had room to put some on. 
So uh, we'll see what we got. We got 10 whole laps. We got a lot of cars that it looks like stayed out. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I think there's some cars that stayed out there. Holy shit. <laughs> who is, who is, who is, who is the culprit? Oh God. Uh, we're just gonna hope this sticks down here. Oh, 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 oh. All right, Parker Kligerman and uh, <laughs> Cody Ware and see Kyle Busch just stop on the bricks. Send his ass no balls. Oh, yeah, if you get them left sides down there on that dotted line, oh, baby, does it try to send you a laugh for no apparent reason. Oh, disgusted. Disgusted, disgusted. We got BJ up here looking for some stage points. Truex is gone. Who else? We got Dibby. Which, I, I don't know why, but I absolutely love this throwback. I just love the colors of the stripes. It looks cool. Newman, hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Best friends, move the fuck over, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, that leaves uh, Almarola and Martin Truex. Holy bed, bop, boop, boobity, boop. I don't know. <laughs> what the? Where the fuck were you going? I'd like to turn into the corner. It's only probably the... Narrow his fucking track out of here. All right, you're clear. All right, See what I mean? It just, it just right in the middle. <laughs> Pick up bit like high or low. Like, is that too hard? Just, just one or the other. Like, you, you, you're not giving me a lot of options here, pal. You can run the dotted white line. You can ride up against the wall. Right in the middle, though, you're killing me. You're killing me. Did Kevin Harvick not have a throwback for this, or what? Or am I missing it? Or did NASCAR Heat not get it in? Harvick should have one. I don't honestly. I, have, I don't remember whatsoever. Two to go. Eric Almirola is out in the lead, which is very interesting for a number of reasons. But most importantly, he is outside looking in. First man, to be fair, um, outside of the points. So I don't know where Clint Boyer's at, but Eric Almirola just won a stage. That's uh, that's oh, he's actually oh, that's awkward. But okay, well, I guess it doesn't doesn't matter. Good on Clint though. That's exactly what he needs to do. I, I thought I thought I was gonna find Clinton like P18 or some shit. All right, 45 uh, laps to go here. There's some uh, play or stage points that don't really, uh, yeah, mean anything for us. So three seconds of golly. Let's keep on tacking them seconds of damage on. All right, eight spots lost. Puts us back to P12, and it is nighttime. Fun. Turned off the sun. Turned on the moon. They even have the moon in this game. <laughs> I feel like I've done a lot of night races now and I've never seen the moon. Does NASCAR heat, did, did they did they forget the moon? That's a really weird question to bring up uh, entering stage number three, but um, I don't know, look around the track, see if we can find the moon. I don't see it. I mean, let's come back around one more time. It should be up there somewhere, right? Guys, I'm telling you, I don't think I see the moon. <laughs> I think they might have forgot to put in the moon. I, I, you know what? Now I'm going to have to experiment. I'm going to have to go to some other night races to see if I can find the fucking moon. Maybe it's not quite high enough. I don't know. Well, we are going backwards. It just sucks when you get pinned up here on this high side because the AI just don't really have much regard for your uh, <laughs> well-being. I just gotta throw that shit off in there. Okie dokie. Well, I think that's for the most part over. We've got, uh, yeah, we're looking at a pit stop if, if this thing goes green, which it won't. So we've got 38 laps. We're definitely obviously short on fuel, but uh, this is gonna get quite interesting with the tires now if we can actually get a pretty solid long run in because we haven't really had one of those. All right, Priest, come on, champ, pushing you. Literally. Oh. All right, you're clear. <laughs> I didn't hit you that hard. Come on. Gave him a little boop. I thought he was going to save it. And he did. And then he just wrecked again. Whatever. My bad. My bad. I was trying to help you out to the corner because he's so damn slow. Okie dokie. Back to... P38, 17 spots lost, Truex gone. I could have stayed out, but 
Uh, that gives us a significant... Uh, when, uh, it definitely gives us a field advantage on the AI here. Yeah, and four fresh tires. I know we didn't run very long, like, whatsoever, but... Uh, give me tires. Hello, how we doing? Oh, there's my favorite throwback right there. Corey LaJoy. Dude, he had my favorite throwback, uh, like... Oh, my Jesus. Come on. Come on, just let me drive the damn track. Oh, God. Yeah, Corey LaJoy, he had my, my favorite throwback, like, two... Uh, he had it twice. Whatever year that was. Was it 2017, I think, in the Dr. Pepper throwback? And then that one, oh, man, those are some cool ones, man. I'm telling you, man, the, the smaller teams, they usually have the best ones. Every once in a while, one of the top teams, like, knocks it out of the park. But the thing with the top teams is, like, I feel like they've almost, like, just about run out of all the cool ones. You know what I mean? Or, like, the cool ones don't happen because of sponsors or whatever. Like, it's, like, the the, the small teams is where it's at. Okay, now I'm very disappointed. Oh, okay, I know I don't have Starcom's throwback. It's because that came out in a different pack because they had problems with it or something. And they released it a month late. And I don't think I got it on Xbox. I spent, like, ten bucks to race that car, that paint scheme, once. For the core league, that was the worst. That was ten bucks. I'll never get back, ever. But I, I do have that DLC for NASC for uh, for PS4. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh, he saved it! He saved it, everybody! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He was oh, he was basically staring at the outside wall. I guess Tyler Reddick got him back going straight. Another case of. A slight little tappy boop, and uh, yeah, I, that time I gave him, I gave him room to save it, but hey, yeah, so damn goofy. Every time I come up on a man, they're like, "Fucking a." <laughs> Every time I come up to try to pass somebody on the bottom, they just move right to the bottom, and it pisses me off because I don't like running to the top because the damn steering in this game is so damn clunky. I can't just like it's hard to it's hard to run the top without doing something stupid. All right, David, listen here, pal. We're just, we're like, we're, this is happening, okay? It's happening. Hold your line. Matt Tift, guess what's happening? <laughs> that, that just happened to your teammate, David? It's happening to you. All right? It's happening. Goodbye. Nice throwback, though. I like it. I don't, I don't even know what it's about, but I like it. All right, well, that puts us P22 with a cluster in the near future here. We got to see. Yeah, it's a fuster. It's a fuster cluck. Uh, led by Chris Busher, it appears. Ugh! So, yeah, we're about we're about ten laps short. Again, we got that feel advantage, so it could mean something. It could also not mean anything. What is this? Can you guys figure this out? Michael McDowell and Chris Busher, old brother. I like Chris Busher. Michael McDowell, uh, he, he kind of trash, but all right, Michael, to the wall, pal, to the wall, to the wall. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh oh, Pete, stop. Unless you're lying to me again. Oh, nope, that's a late entry right there, Bill. Well, I guess that's fair. Probably since it's got that goofy ass pit road. I always try to enter, like, going off into three instead of the middle of three or four because it's, uh. Oof. Not a, not a fun time down there. It's really not. Hey, look at that. All right. Come on. Come on. Give me this spot. You know it's right, coming. There it is. Whoop. How we doing? That's gonna. That's not gonna be good if somebody tries to pit in front of me in the middle of the corner. How much you want to bet that happens? I punt them. Try to put as many of these guys lap down as we can, though. That feel advantage, man. I feel like somebody really wanted to roast me for pitting when I really didn't need to when I dumped priests. Oh, jeez. Clocked it right there, boy. This might just work out pretty good if I can go further here. And then we get that caution, because Lord knows. I don't know, Darlington's a little, uh... I was so scared that Blaney was the guy pitting right there, so I really stepped on it. This might work out. This might just work out pretty well for us. Hold on. Hold on. What are we doing, Blaney? Like, what, what, what is this? Do you not like entering in the corner? Okay. Ah, there it is. All right, leaders are in. This might actually just go green. Because usually, apparently... Somebody told me in my comments that the cautions are caused by people coming in and out of pit road or something like that. I don't know if that's always the case or what, but Darlington's uh, kind of unique, so it maybe maybe we'll get unique scenarios. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm staying out. 
And I'm putting as many people to lap down as I can. The only problem with this, though, is everybody's going to have freshies, and I'm not. So uh, we're going to technically lose a lot of on-track time if this goes green. If, uh, but then it'll flip the other way. They won't be on freshies. But we're not going to have a lot of time to make it up. So I still got 19 laps, though. Oh, my God. Holy shit! <laughs> that was bad timing. Oh yeah, so it's down to the guys who, uh, who haven't hit pit road yet. Uh, Senhow is gone, Truex behind everybody else. We got a lap down. So that's uh, that's cool. Yeah, we still got cars. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I believe Gone and, and Truex uh, pitted when I did, so uh, they could go about as far as I can. So we still got a minute. Oh my god, where are you going? Fucking stupid! Fucking stupid! Jesus Christ! Well, Eric Almirola, that's gonna put him back in the lead lap. What a f fuck. Yeah, that's what you get. So you nearly wreck and then you get stuck behind all these goofballs. That's what you get, Eric Almirola. Come here, come on back. I'm gonna put your bag of lap down. Nah, I ain't catching it now. Hey, jeez, it is crazy how much faster he is on those freshies. I mean, he was one of the faster cars anyways, but... Fucking A. I really don't like hitting the wall and being splurred out the fucking left side of it. Just being shot across the damn track. That's not usually how it works, but... You know, that's... That's Nascari's uh, slogan. Nascari 4, not usually how it works. Oh, 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 pick, pick, the pick move. How you like it? Thank you, Brendan. Love you. Oh, we better do it again. Oh, there, there, there it is. There it is. Kurt Busch uh, saved me there. Did you see how my card went from going straight to boop? Then it started wrecking. There's the boop thing. There it is. My favorite. I'm telling you, man. I said it once. I say it again. This track is just flat out broken for this game. It's not about it others, but this was just stupid. I love me some Darlington, don't get me wrong, but this one, oh boy, does it need a... It needs some, some work. Alright, so we are... Yeah, we're getting there. We got four laps left in the tank. Uh, yeah, we're about eight laps short, so we saved two. Um, just kind of by right, running. So, whoop do fucking do Come on! I mean, I'm on all tires, but like, golly! Alright, feel free to uh, give us a caution game. You usually like to give us one, now would be the time. Ten laps to go. There you go, Boston Dillon. Ooh, man, I was afraid he's gonna just throw it in there and wreck us. Like, uh, I thought Amarillo almost did. Gonna yeah, put Jimmy a lap down. What is Austin Dillon doing in P4? What is this? Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta come in this time. All right, this ought to be fun. Oop de doop de doop. There we come. You're going too fast. I don't know which where the fucking line is. That should be the line right there. That second one. All right, no damage. Four tires. Uh, enough fuel to make it. Uh, one can. Yeah, one can. Be safe. Uh, all right. Well, that's good. Yeah, NASCAR Heat really needs a thing like F1 that like has a distance thing that like shows you how how close you're getting to the line. I don't fucking know. Oh, oh, no. What the? Okay, well, projected 17.8. Uh, yikes. See where we cycle out. We're going to have freshies. We got a little bit of damage, but we're going to have freshies here. Wow, 17.7. Thanks, game. So generous of you. All right, P17, 18, uh, let's see, oh, I'm going in it. All right, well, that's not bad. We've got about, uh, we should have around 10 laps to go, I think. Um, so, yeah, we only need four spots, and bada bing, bada boom, top 15. Uh, the leader's right behind us, Eric Almirola, so I guess uh, we're going to be going a lap down here in a minute. I mean, it might be. I don't, uh, I might, if tires might be good enough, I might be able to. Stay in front of him. We're about to find out there. Hold on. Golly. Eight, okay, we got eight laps. But all of them are pretty much right there. Uh, I take that back. I think that leads to, uh, like, s s 
where do we come out? Like 16th? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna come up one spot short. I'm gonna just want to fucking bet. Let's see, 18th, 17th. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does lead to 16th because Cody Ware's dumbass is hanging out here. I thought he was a car. Hello. Come on. We might be fast enough. I think we're okay to track people down here. We got Hammock up there. All right, cool. Yeah, we still got plenty of time too. What are we doing here? What like what are, what are we what are we doing? There you go, right around, right around is. There it is, P16, and then, oh my god, of course Blaney is seven seconds ahead. Can I make up seven seconds and, uh, no, I probably fucking can't. Stay low, stay low. All right, you're clear. Fucking get out the way. I gotta go. Six laps, seven seconds. Today on things, it probably won't happen. Um, oh man, lap traffic's gonna have to play a big factor if it's gonna happen. And I'm gonna have to really pass people fast here. I don't know. Look at how much I, that, that's going down pretty quick. Let's see how Parker Clickerman gets in my way here. Oh, thanks. That was actually really kind of you. Gave me the top. Okay, cool. All right, five and a half. Uh, this is doable. What am I kidding? This is NASCAR heat. Oh, not if I do that. We're good. Jumped over it a little bit there. We're good. Problem is, lap traffic is going to play a factor for me, too. So is the wall. Fuck it. Keep your foot in it. If it breaks, it breaks. If it don't, it don't. Four seconds. How many laps we got? Oh, baby. We're going to catch them, like, right on the money. And a castle pick a fucking line, you stupid bastard. No wonder you got fired. Fuck's sake. Here we come. Who's pitting? What the hell? They're pitting again. What the shit? Top 15. Bill is in there. Why are you pitting? Can you not make it? You should be able to make it. Why the fuck would you wouldn't be able to make it? Ooh, that's... Hmm. Well, hold on. I guess they, uh... I don't know when they last pitted before the, uh... Yeah, I don't know when they last hit pit road before their last... Um, dude, I'm lost now. I'm lost because there's cars hitting pit road. All right, top 15. I think I would have caught him anyways, but... Eric Almarol's hitting pit road. What? What the shit? What? What is happening? Eric, what are you doing, champ? Clint Boyer just picked up the lead. What is going on? Blaney's hitting pit road. Jimmy. Swervez. Clint Boyer thinks he can make it, though. Is this the white flag? Or is this two to go? White flag. This is the white flag. Clint Boyer's going to win it, I guess. And he's going to secure himself for the playoffs. He's the last seed anyways. Yeah, he made it. What the hell? What the hell did you guys do? I'm going to finish P2. What? What just happened? Somebody explain this to me. <laughs> when did they hit pit road? The fuel run was pretty long around here, if I if I remember correctly. What the hell was that? Oh, yeah, if the moon existed, <laughs> I don't think it does. What the hell was that race? Oh, brother. I mean, I'm cool with that P2. I would have liked to have won. I'm a little salty. Everybody had to pit it except for Clint Boyer, apparently. But, uh, okay, congrats. Welcome to the playoffs, I guess. Okie dokie with Clint Boyer. On to the playoffs. Eric Almarola, uh, P3. What could have been for him? Hit pit road. And, um, yeah, in the lead. I, I don't know. Uh, Austin Dillon, fourth. Eric Jones. And then, uh, boy, so only eight cars on the lead lap. Michael McDowell, Kurt Busch ran at your top ten a lap down. He had a stage win. Uh, we'll take a look at the rest of it. Uh, uh, BJ, 21st, landed P22. Love to see it. And a look at the rest of it. Uh, old Jimmy finished P30. And uh, let's see, Bubba and Alex Bowman with problems. Amazing news! Michael Cozy Jr. just got to one million fans. Unbelievable! Hashtag Michael Space Cozy Space Jr. Dot is a superstar.
I don't know if you know this, but that top five was impressive. Hashtag most impressive. Tyler Reddick, what is your deal? You completely wrecked me last race. Why are you trying to make me so angry? <laughs> Did you get for not having a throwback? You scrub. Well, next week, tune in for the uh, hashtag BMV 400 ATB <laughs> PBFL FGL. Excuse me. Uh, one of my favorite events, personally. Uh, we're going to set the field for the playoffs.